just a reminder, anytime you're solving a math problem and there's a zero on top, I don't care what number you have on the bottom, the answer is always going to equal zero. On the other hand, if you have a zero on bottom, again, I don't care what number you have on top, it could be negative, positive, but if you have a zero on the bottom, the answer is always going to be the words undefined. It doesn't matter how high you go up into your math course, that's always going to be the case. Zero on top equals zero, and zero on the bottom equals undefined. Let's go ahead and proceed with this next example. Let's plug it in so we can find the slope. Uh, so recall, subtract your y's, they're on top, subtract your x's, they're on the bottom. Uh, so we're going to start by y sub 2, which is in this case 4, take away y1, which is negative 1. So that's what you're going to have on top, 4, take away negative 1. On bottom, let's start with the, the x's here, x sub 2 would be 2, take away 2, and that's going to be on the bottom. So on top, notice you have double negatives, negative 1, but with a negative in front of it becomes plus 1. 4 plus 1 will give us 5. We have a 0 on bottom. So what did we just say about 0 on top and bottom? Anytime we have it on the bottom, yes, it is undefined. So this slope is undefined. What would that look like if I were to graph it? You got it. It'd be a vertical line. 